This is unit number 6 Construction and Analysis of Fund Flow and Cash Flow Statements. In this video, we are going to see topic number 4 Sources of Funds. In the previous videos, we have already covered what is working capital and how to determine the requirements for a working capital. Let us jump to the topic of Sources of Funds. Sources of Funds we have seen that working capital is required to finance that portion of current assets which is not financed by current liabilities. We have already seen in the previous videos what is a working capital. Working capital means the difference between current assets and current liabilities. Examples of current assets is or sorry, are uh, cash, cash equivalents, inventory, trade receivables. These are all the examples of current assets. Examples of current liabilities are Trade payables. Trade payables means purchases which are made on credit. Uh, purchases are made but payment is not yet made. Cash has to be paid at a later point of time. They are called. These are called trade payables. Accrued or accumulated expenses which are yet to be made. Next, short term debt payments. These are the examples of current liabilities. We need to understand that a part of current assets is utilized for paying off these current liabilities. Okay, so the remaining whatever that is left over, removing current liabilities from current assets, whatever that is paid off from the current assets, the leftover part is called as the working capital. That working capital is utilized for running the day to day operations of the business. Okay, we also saw that the investments represented by current assets are converted into cash during the operating cycle. So with whatever current assets that are available, we will run the business operations and at the end of the cycle, the present, the remaining current assets will be converted, generally converted into cash. They are all cash equivalents. Current assets means short term assets. They are mostly cash equivalents only. They can be uh, redeemed in, in the form of cash. This implies that our need for financing is one for such cycle. Under normal circumstances, every unit of investment in working capital is converted into cash at the end of the cycle at an added value to the extent of profits. This is about working capital. Now we will see the sources of funds which are used for uh, which are used as working capital. When we are looking at the possible sources of working capital, the most important source is this internal generation. So internal sources. We have to look at internal sources. This means the first internal source is any working capital that we might be having. So already existing working capital can be utilized as a source of funds for running the day to day operations. If we if we have any non current assets which do not have any use, they could be disposed of thereby generating additional working capital. We are selling fixed assets which do not have any use can also generate some cash that cash can be utilized for running the business. Please note that this is not a regular and continuing source of funds. Selling of assets is not a continuous source of funds. It is a one time activity which generates some cash for utilization of operations. We have seen earlier that every profitable sale brings with it funds in excess of what was expended on goods sold. We have to understand that here the term funds, let us for the time being treat it as cash. Funds means uh, be it synonymous with cash only. So whenever profits are made in the business, some cash is generated. When sale happens for a profit, some cash is generated. This profit can be an addition to the existing work, working capital. In other words, profits generated by the business contribute towards additional working capital. This can be utilized for financing further projects or for financing the other operations of the business. But you may also notice that whenever we measure profits, we match the revenue against all expenses relating to the revenue, whether it involves the use, use of funds in the current period or not. So whatever cash is that is generated from sales, we cannot entirely treat it uh, as a profit. A certain part of this cash or funds that is generated from sales uh, should be going towards input costs, uh, towards paying of taxes towards paying of uh, rents, other expenses for paying interest. So many other expenses are there. So total generated cash cannot be treated as total profit. Thus the profits measured do not reflect the actual amount of funds available. Okay. In order to assess the actual funds generated from current operations, we should add back to the profits all those items of expenses not involving use of funds during the current period. Okay. 
the what essentially what this means is that the entire sales revenue or entire gross profits generated from sales cannot be treated as the cash that is available being available for further operations the part of the cash should be allocated for other expenses so we will see all the expenses which are there interest is one expense depreciation is one expense uh, tax payment is one expense rent payments is one expense wage payments is one expense so the, so the all the cash that is generated will be distributed to distributed towards these expenses okay then what is the funds that is available for running the business what is the funds generated from the business that we are going to see that is the focal point of this video the funds generated from operations profits plus depreciation and amortization this is the funds generated from the operation operations because depreciation is one such expense where cash is not involved tax payment cash should be paid rent tax should be paid wages tax should be uh, sorry cash should be paid for uh, wages rents uh, electricity payment other expenses all other miscellaneous expenses interest payment expenses cash should be paid whereas for depreciation cash is not paid cash is not going out okay but still we are removing this depreciation from gross profits in order to arrive at the net profit so if we do not consider this depreciation then the remaining the then that available amount can be treated as a funds generated from the operations okay and the sources of funds is a funds generated from the operations is one this means cash generated from the sales is one source of funds uh, and sale of fixed assets is one source of funds any surplus already in the previous cycle if any uh, working capital or if any cash is generated that can also be source of funds essentially what we are doing is from what sources cash is generated how do we get cash from different operations okay by selling fixed assets by generating cash from profits and if any cash is existing from the previous cycle so these are the three ways in which cash can be generated for funding the day to day operations of the business so funds from operations uh, we will see an example through an example here the profit and loss of this company t tools india limited shows that operations have provided gross addition of 360 million to funds during the period means 360 million rupees is the cash generated by sales revenue okay we also know that these funds represent sale proceeds sale proceeds of goods and services by the company this is the sales revenue we also know what part of these funds is utilized for meeting the cost of input such as material personnel and other operating costs okay this is the cost of the goods sold that is 150 rupees input costs here cash is utilized right funds are used here the input costs involve spending cash 150 rupees of cash is utilized for generating 360 rupees 360 millions 150 million is utilized for generating 360 millions next apart from these we also have interest commitments and costs expiration of the machinery and equipment and also tax payments okay so these are the other expenses person for personal expenses 60 million rupees is spent for depreciation and amortization 11.9 million rupees is spent for other expenses 13.1 million rupees is spent these are all cash outgoes except depreciation for other expenses cash is utilized for personal expenses cash is utilized whereas for depreciation cash is not utilized though so when preparing the profit and loss statement we have to remove depreciation and we have to remove all other expenses from this gross profit and arrive at the net profit here it is 55 million rupees but actually depreciation cash is not involved therefore we have to add that 11.9 rupees also to the net profit so total 66.9 rupees will be the total funds total cash available with the business funds generated from operations is nothing but the cash available with the business by uh, adding back the depreciation thus the funds provided from the operations are in fact the revenues earned from operations less all immediate cost of goods sold or input costs requiring use of cash wherever cash is utilized that cash is to be removed from the profits 
In other words, it is a net income or profit after taxes plus all the non-cash expenses such as depreciation and amortization. So add back 11.9 rupees to 55 rupees and also other uh, one rupee is there that is profit and sale of furniture. So total 65.9 rupees will be the uh, remove this one profit and sale of furniture profit and sale of furniture uh, is to be removed here. Okay, so this is the internal sources of funds. Funds generated from operations or cash generated generated from operations is one source of funds for running the business further. External sources of funds are resources raised from outside the organization to augment funds availability for any of the uses. Okay. So what are the two types of uh, external sources of raising funds? By contributing or raising additional capital and by bringing more money through borrowing these we also have to understand here short term creditors are not included as source of funds because they are already financed from the current assets okay they are defined as funds from current assets less current liabilities working capital represents long term investment in current assets and hence short term borrowing will not increase the working capital right now the sources of funds net profit of taxes and add depreciation to that one add amortization to that one and whatever is available that will be the cash available for further operations or funds provided by the operations so and uh, new issue of share capital is the uh, by bringing in equity capital uh, funds can be increased new issue of debentures or bonds debt capital addition of long-term borrowing borrowing that is also debt capital sale proceeds of fixed assets again cash is getting uh, is generated sale of long-term investment cash is generated generated these are all the sources of funds for a business right i hope you understood this topic might be a little confusing uh, when you go through the explanation in this topic but overall uh, the summary is that funds generated from operations means what is the cash that is available in the business to continue the business operations it could be the, the cash that is generated in the previous cycle it could be the sale of assets and also it could be the uh, funds from the actual business sales where depreciation is added back thank you for listening to this uh, watching this video in the next video, we are going to see applications of funds.